Hi viewers, welcome to Regina Aura. For this demo section, we'll be using the Oracle Net Manager to create a service name and a listener. Okay, for us to create a net service name, the first thing we need to do is to call up our Net Manager utility. So I'm going to call that up with that command there. And then we have Net Manager. Then we're going to see the Oracle Net Manager tool and you'll see um, options of what you can use the Oracle Nets Manager for, like to create a profile, a service name, and listeners. Okay, so for this demo, we'll be looking at creating a service name. And then you'll see this plus sign here highlighted as soon as you clicked on service name. So that part gives us um, a net service name wizard, okay, which is going to guide us through creating a net service name. Before I go further, um, on this database, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to expand the service name so you see what I'm doing. I have two databases already running here. I have one named Gina and the other is Rousia. So we're looking at creating a service name that points to either of these databases. So I'm going to be looking at Gina, okay, so you have an understanding of what we're going to do. So I'm going to click on this plus sign again and then we start the next service name wizard. Okay, for this part, we need to provide a name for our next service name. Okay, so what I usually do, or I recommend you do, is that you provide a net service name that um, um, looks like the database name, so you actually know what you're doing. Since I'm going to be working on Gina database, so I will just have test Gina. I will just have um, test Gina as the name of my net service name. And then I'll click on next. Okay, this part is where you need to choose the protocol that you'll be using. I'm going to leave it at TCP IP which is the default and then I'll click on next okay here is um, where you have to choose your host name that means your machine name so I'm going to just um, have that there so this is my host name okay and then this other part is the port number okay the default port number for your database is 1521 so if you have another listener maybe at the point of this demo you already have another listener running on another port Okay, at the moment, okay, so you can change that port number to the running listener. That means the port number that the listener you're using at the moment is running on. If you don't have, then it's safer to just leave it at the default port number, which is 1521. And then I'm going to click on next. Okay, this part is to actually provide a service name for the database that you are using. Okay, so I'm going to just provide service name, which is Gina, since I told you Gina is database name I'm using. So I'm going to have the connection type and leave it at default. Then I'll click on next. Okay. After you're done, you're supposed to test <laughs> to see if you can go forward and finish or you have to go back and check your connection. So when you test this, you're likely to get an error message at the first um, time you're doing it because it's attempting to use a login, but possibly you've not used that login before. Okay. As you can see, it's attempting to use the Scott um, user ID and the password tiger for someone like me that changes my password and I don't use all the um, Scott and tiger as a password I'm going to have an error message and for someone like you possibly that you don't really use the Scott schema all the time And you've not unlocked it also you're going to get this error message. So how do you work with that? So I have a user I'm, going to, I'm just going to click on change login and I'm going to change the login information from the default Scott and tiger login information so I'm going to have that, um, I have a user I created, I think I named that P, and then I have a password P also. And then I'm going to have OK. Then I'm going to test that again. Okay, you can see, attempted to connect using the user IDP, the connection test was successful. So if my test is successful, I can now finish. So it means that I have created a net service name for my Gina, and then it's called test Gina. So I'm going to close this and then we're going to try to connect um, to a user using this um, um, new net service name that we just created. Okay, so I'm just going to close this and then I'll be asked to save. Okay, if you've not closed it and, and you've not saved, everything you've done has not taken effect yet. You have to save here and then come back to your prompt like this. So I'm just going to go to that database and try to connect to the user I just used right now.
Okay, the next demo is to create a second listener. Okay, um, before we do that, I need to just show you some stuff. At the moment, um, I have a listener already. Okay, and that's why it's called the second listener. So add to um, add to LSNL CTL status to show you my listener, and then show you also that it, it's already connected to several services already. So creating a second listener means that we have to create a second listener and then configure our database to see the second listener. Okay, so for us to do that, we're going to be using the Net Manager again. Okay, so our Net uh, Manager is up. So we're going to open up this um, local we have here and then we highlight the path for listeners. Okay, so we we'll click on the Create button. Before I, I, before I click on the Create button, okay, I'm going to draw your attention to this part here where we have listener okay at the point where you have a database already you already have a listener running at default so the default listener name is listener okay so we're going to create another listener okay so I'm going to just click on create and um, I'm going to name this listener let me say listener or seal okay listener or seal good Okay, and then I'm gonna have okay. So when you create a listener, you need to go below your Oracle Net Manager. You're going to see add address. So I'm going to click on the add address. So this is the part where you need to deal with the network address. Okay, so I'm going to change the ports from 1521 because our listener is already running on um, the default port, which is 1521. So I'm going to make this. Um, I'm going to make this listener use um, 1522, and then I'm going to close to save the configuration settings. So it means that we have another listener called listener or our CEO. I'm going to connect to one of my database, which is um, or our CEO. Okay, and okay, let's just see if we have a local listener. I'm going to show parameter. Okay. When we run this, you see that we have um, no local listener running. We already have a default listener that Oracle Database has created for us already. So for us to start using this new listener that we just created, we need to alter our system. Okay, um, you can see now that our system has been altered. So what I'm going to do, let's just um, um, show parameter again. So the next thing for us to do is to stop the current listener and then start up this other listener. Okay, now I'm going to start up the listener that we just created, which is um, listener or our CL. So I'll have that. I'm glad you enjoyed this section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get updates on new uploads. Thank you for viewing.